Hi folks, welcome to my Bit Retro Journal. Um, today I'm going to be doing a, what I call a quick clip, which is videos that are five minutes or less. And I just wanted to give an update on um, my uh, last Septandi video on the Model 3 because I, I, I did make some progress. So uh, let me show you that. Uh, talking a bit more with uh, Adrian from Adrian's Digital Basement, uh, I, I kind of gave him, asked him some questions and, and gave him the symptoms. And he actually pointed out that there's a good chance this computer is actually working. So what I discovered last time was that uh, when I plugged in the monitor, I could actually get a, a white raster screen and the discs were working. Um, and he suggested that th that actually is a sign of a working um, uh, Model 3. Uh, again, excuse the, the noise. I'm downstairs in the uh, in a storage room at, at work and... Uh, uh, there's a AC unit going and lots of squeaking. Uh, I'll try to filter it out as best I can, but then it also filters out my voice. Um, but, so what he suggested that is if you turn this on without a disc, it actually won't give you anything unless you turn it on with a brake key. So that's what I actually wanted to give it a try. Now, I did end up uh, playing a little bit more with it from the last time I took it apart, and I've been sort of cleaning this up, although it's not a, a real cleanup job because I'd have to take the keyboard probably apart. It's really dirty, but I just sort of get getting rid of superficial dirt right now. Um, but he so I did turn it on again, and, and and the reefer cap on the power supply for the disk drive is blue. But I've been told that the computer can still work without it because that's really just filtering the um, back to the AC power line, right? So it's it, it's not actually needed for the computer to work properly. So. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, so uh, if it doesn't have a disk drive in, according to the instructions and, and Adrian's, if I press the brake key and turn it on, it should actually pop up. So I'm going to give that a try to see if indeed I can get this computer to work. All right, I should be, uh, so let's do that. I'm going to hold the brake key down and turn this on. Discs are spinning. Oh, look. And we have, it's asking for a cassette, memory size, I don't know what it wants there. And it says ready. And so we actually, it, now it's it's a blurry picture. Uh, let me see if I can clean that picture up. And yeah, so it looks like the picture has been cleaned up. Uh, so there's two knobs, one that gives you brightness and the other one that I think gives you contrast. And the contrast really helped clean the picture up. But yeah, can we write a program in BASIC? And let's run this program. Look at that. I can maybe zoom this out a little bit now. Uh, five and a quarter. And I do have a five and a quarter inch drive for a PC and, and my QL. So maybe I'll be able to get uh, some software in there. It does do cassettes, so I need to figure out what the cassette interface is. But yeah, I've got a working computer and uh, everything's fine. I, I do need to replace the reefer cap on the power supply, probably on both. Uh, just to do it, and then I need to refurbish this. It's got a lot of scuff marks on the keyboard. The one thing I ought to try is, uh, let's try the keyboard. So one, two, three, four, five. Oh, that's the other reefer cap blowing. But it looks like everything else is working. So you can see there's smoke coming out of the computer. I'm going to turn it off. Wow, that smell is definitely reefer smell. But if you look at... Uh, if I zoom in on that, you can see that. That is definitely blown right there. It's come, come apart. The other one, however, if I bring it up here, it's right there. If I zoom in on it, it, it actually looks okay. So I don't understand why. That one would be okay. I would have th I thought that one blew because that first one, if it's already blown, it can't blow again, right? In any case, I'll have to take both boards apart and replace the refers and fix them. And uh, yeah, so there you have it. Uh, it's running, uh, but smoking. So I still have some work to do on it. I don't know when I'll next get to it. I'll, I'll try to find some software for it, either uh, uh, via five and a quarter inch floppy, or it also has a cassette port, which is like a five pin DIN connector. So I can also try to see if I can't hook a cassette to it or an audio from my phone or whatnot. Anyway, thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time.